Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. Another early morning here in uh, Phoenix, but um, hopefully you can see my face good enough to hear my voice. I was always told I have a face for radio. So we're in Psalm chapter 101. Let's, uh, let's read this again. Verse 1, I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord. I will sing praises. I will behave myself, I'm sorry, I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him will, I will destroy. The one who has a haughty look and a proud heart, him I will not endure. My eyes shall be on the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He who works deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my presence. Early I will destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. David here is speaking about his uh, kingship. We talked a little bit about this yesterday, his kingship in Israel. In the first few verses, he's describing what uh, of him. He said, Lord, Lord, I'm doing my, I'm doing my best. I am not going to set wicked things before my eyes. I am, you know, I'm not going to have a perverse heart. Uh, Lord, I might hear about how people fall away, but I'm not going to fall away. I am going to stay true to you. Verse 5, though, he picks it up. He goes from talking really about <coughs> how he's going to govern himself to how he'll govern uh, his kingdom. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, I'll destroy him. Haughty look, proud heart, I, will, I won't put up with it. My eyes are going to be on the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Who walks in a perfect way, he'll serve me. If he, has, if he works to see, he'll not dwell in my house. If he tells lies, I'm not even going to put up with him in my presence. Now, um, we can look at this and we can think, oh man, oh man, what an, un, what an intolerant individual he really is. But remember, he was establishing the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, there were rules, laws, as to what should happen in Israel and what should not happen in Israel. Um, you and I realize, and, and hopefully we do, we live in a, amidst a bunch of unclean people. Uh, that sounds bad. But the, the blood of Jesus has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. So we live in the midst of a lot of people of this world who really need the blood of Jesus to cleanse them as well. Um, <clears throat> David is speaking from a viewpoint of a nation that's supposed to be given to God. See, Paul echoes this same sentiment, really. When he talks about, uh, he, he says, he said, I'm not telling you uh, to never be around people who do wickedness. He said, if that were true, you couldn't, you couldn't live in the world. He's saying, I'm talking about people, and David spoke about this, and I believe it's close to what, uh, I'm sorry, Paul talked about this, and I believe it's close to what David's saying. If a brother calls himself a Christian, lives this kind of lifestyle with such a one do not even eat he was saying if there's someone who says I'm a Christian I'm born again I'm this I'm that I'm that <clears throat> if they're doing something wrong correct them that if they're going to continue to live in constant continual sin and it's there are guidelines for this in the New Testament and don't even have, don't even eat with them. Don't even fellowship. Eating uh, has something to do with fellowship. 
Look it up. I encourage you to do a search in the New Testament. Uh, maybe just go Google. Uh, uh, look at the words, with such a one, do not even eat. One of the worst things for Christianity, one of the worst advertisements for Christianity is Christians. People who call themselves by the name of the Lord but don't have a life that reflects Him, it still reflects them. Now, I, I know this. I understand that, that it takes, we, we, we always say it just takes so much time. It takes a lot of time. But listen, I read about great revivals in the past where people get saved and they're changed. They stop. They quit. There might be some slippage, but for the most part, they finished, man. They've been convicted and stopped. They repent. I wonder where that is today. Father, I pray that you help us today. That if we're going to call ourselves something, Father, I pray that you help us today to truly repent of things that we know displease you and turn to you completely. I pray, Father, that you help us live a life that is, uh, Lord, filled with your presence and your blessing. Lord, bless these who hear today and let them be a great advertisement for Jesus and his kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you. Bye-bye.